even though attention appears to be bound, it can and does still carry the total force of liberated consciousness because its root is in there. It's rooted completely in that unmanifest being. The nature of that transformation from bound attention to liberated consciousness is in the dissolution of the solid sense of separation that exists in the jiva, in the inner self, in the I. So the radiant and diffusive nature of consciousness as it's flowing through attention as if dissolves the separation of attention from consciousness and produces just consciousness. It relaxes and releases us back into the bliss of being. You see, consciousness is already liberated. It's attention that requires liberation. And that means just displacing the center of attention. Ordinarily, the center of attention is lodged in a feeling of separate consciousness, separative awareness. It lodges there, and then all it sees is difference. It sees only differences. So once you liberate attention from that nasty contraction, it begins to realize consciousness very quickly. And one of the symptoms of the liberation of attention is bliss. You begin to feel a wave of bliss come over you. The bliss is the sense of relief that happens in the body-mind as it is extricated from duality. It's a beautiful feeling like diving in a cool lake when you're very, very hot. It has a nectar-like feeling to it. And that bliss is also freedom. freedom from otherness, from being bound to the sense that there are others, that there's an other place, an other state, another world, another life somewhere. So when this feeling, this congested feeling of attention being bound with otherness dissolves. There's a wonderful feeling about it. Something happens to the heart. <laughs>